What's good, YouTube? Everyone on YouTube here, back again once again. And today, people, today, I am your coach of the Tucson Tarakians UCL Season 3, Week 5. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we are going up against PK Sparks, our good friend PK Sparks, coach of the Philadelphia Feraligators. Han, han. And PK has been talking shit for a while now. So we're going to hopefully play our absolute bestest in tip-top shape and not throw the entire time. But hey, when it comes to Wi-Fi battling with your boy, it's a gamble every single week. So if you guys are hyped for some more UCL action, and of course, I'm going to show you support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, what music are we using? That is the question. I'm just going to go with the, the sander. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So the squad we're bringing, Hoopa Unbound. Chestnut, Crowback, Clefable, Swampert, and Fly gone. We are bringing our Dark Indium Z for the first time this season this week. And hopefully Z Snatch goes off flawlessly. Knock on wood. Hopefully it goes off well and we can uh, do the damn thing here. Um, I was going to mention something just now and I forgot. Oh, if you want to know why we brought what we brought, then by all means go and check out the Team Builder video. It should be timestamped. We have the Team Builders, we have a couple mock battles, and we have an actual Team Recap at the end. So if you don't have time to watch the Builder, watch the Recap. You want to know uh, how things run or how things are expected to run, watch the mock battles. You know, you want to know why I brought what I brought, watch the Team Builder itself. It's, key. it's all there for you, all right? Only thing that did change between Team Builder, team builder and now is that Unaware Clefable with Seismic Toss isn't legal. So we just yoloed it. And took off seismic toss and slapped fire blast on. So, hopefully we can land that fire blast. <laughs> Here's so hoping we can land that fire blast. Let's see who PK brought. Let's see who PK brought. Who did PK bring? I know Terrakion's gonna be here. I'm already gonna write that down. I know Terrakion is showing up. We have Terrakion, Landorus. He brought Scrafty, Landorus, Manectric. Registeel and Garboder. One, two, three, four, five. Who am I missing? Registeel, Garboder. Oh, I didn't write down Scrafty. I was about to say, I'm missing something. Okay, so Scrafty is an interesting pick. Garboder as well, considering that I have not one, but two ground types on my squad I could be bringing. Uh, well, we're definitely going to be leading with Barbara. I feel like he's going to lead either Manectric or. Landorus. So we'll see what ends up happening there. Uh, we're unaware, so I think we're good. Even if he wants to lead and try and set up predicting the lead of Barbara or a stealth rocker, uh, we're unaware. So let him set up. Let him set up. Let me jot these things down here. Let me jot our squads down. Landorus, Manectric with the Manectite on it. We have Reggie Steel. Ooh, this theme. Garboder and Scrafty. Scrafty's really the only wild card here, I think. If he leads Garboder, then. <sighs> Mega yikes. Mega yikes. If he leads Garboder to set up spikes, because the only way we have. The only way we can remove spikes is with Flygon. He led Scrafty. Uh, he'll be with that for, for Intimidate. I think turn one, I'm not going to overpredict. I'm just going to click Stealth Rocks. Because he's not going to leave this thing in to take a Moonblast. I'm just going to click Stealth Rocks. I mean, worst case scenario, like a Banded Poison Jab. Maybe. I'm not going to overthink anything, but I want to peep it. I want to peep it. Oh, we swallow that. We're physically defensive. We're physically defensive. We swallow that. I'm getting my rocks up. I'm getting my rocks up. I don't think he's going to stay in. I was going to say, I don't think he's going to stay in. So here comes the Reggie Steel. Easy peasy. So uh, if we set up with Hoopa, I have to drain punch that Scrafty as well. Which I'm not surprised he bought Scrafty. He needs ways to stop Hoopa. Uh, okay, so rocks are up. I feel like he's just gonna go for rocks here. He could just click toxic. I'm gonna go out to fat bat in case he clicks toxic, or if he wants to click rocks, fat bats in before rocks go up. Eat skeet, and I can click super fang, 
on anything on his team. I just want to kill this thing. Once I kill this thing, Hoopa is so free. It's so free. It's so free to do whatever I want. Scrafty a little bit too. Okay, so he went for Stealth Rock as well. That's fine. And like I said, I'm free just to click Super Fang, dog. Literally. Oh, I should have clicked Taunt, actually, because he might Thunder Wave me. If he Thunder Waves me, that's a problem. But I don't know. I don't know. It's too early to know all of that. So he probably he probably will click Thunder Wave now that I think about it. This is what happens when I click moves too quickly. When I click moves too quickly, I don't make the right play. See, I should have known he was going to go for rocks, not click uh, Toxic. I could have gone out to Swampert. Hmm. Could have gone out to Swampert. Yeah, he stayed in and clicked Thunder Wave. Which is fine with me. I just want this damage off on this Reggie's deal. He went for Seismic Toss. That's fine with me. He's got leftovers. How did I not... Oh, he didn't have damage on him. He's got leftovers. Um, I feel like I might want to click Super Fang again. Just to get him down to half. Because, as far as I know... Rage Steel has no way to get HP back. So if I click Seismic Toss and take him down to half, or if he swaps and click Seismic Toss on any of that as well, he's in Earthquake range. I really want to taunt, but I'm going to click Super Fang again. That's fine with me. He does carry Thunder Wave. Damn. Okay, that's fine with me, though. That's fine with me, though. That's fine with me. Because we got the Reggie Seal low enough. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's a little crippling in some senses, but we got it low enough. Do I get greedy and click it one more time? I mean, he could have rocks on his Landorus. This is one thing we spoke about in the mocks, but I mean, up to this point in the battle, I didn't know. I mean, I have to bait for it. But I would rather have my, I don't know, that, there comes that, that play. Would you rather have Crobat paralyzed or rather have Swampert toxic? I guess Swampert toxic maybe, because now I'm not guaranteed to outspeed some Mons. But uh, I guess that does kind of cripple. I shouldn't have done that. Like I could have super fanged the Landorus. Um. I kind of just want to go out to Swamper. He didn't bring Rotom. He brought Landorus though. I was gonna say I kind of want to go out to Swampert and just. I feel like he's on a seismic toss here. So if I go out to Swampert. Then I can click EQ to cause the landers. I just click Ice Beam. I could just Super Fang again. I'm just going to go out to Swampert. Seismic Toss damage we can handle. I hope I'm not tunnel visioning too hard here. Because I really just want this thing dead. Okay, Seismic Toss we can handle. That's fine with me. So if I click EQ, he goes out to Landorus. My thing is, I just don't want to... I mean, what... Is he going to carry Thunder Wave and Toxic? He has to have Iron Head for Clefable. It can't just be all size and toss damage. I'm clicking Earthquake. My thing is, I just don't want to click Ice Beam and he stays in and Toxics me. Let me see here. Let me see here. Yeah, Ice Beam's doing nothing. 
I mean, I guess the safest play might be Roar. I'm just gonna click Earthquake. He swaps out, he swaps out. See, I don't click my ice moves. I guess Earthquake wasn't terrible. Roar might have been better. I can click Roar again. Oh, he just wants the Intimidate drop. That is a bulky Scrafty. If I've ever seen one. Well, I'm glad I clicked Earthquake there. That is a very bulky Scrafty. My goodness. I feel like he's going to click Knock Off. Um, I'm clicking Toxic. He's Intimidate, not Shedskin. I need these two mods gone, and Hoopa can do what he needs to do. He's carrying Super Fang. Doug, telling you, we're just not meant to live. Since he's not Shedskin, unless he's Lumberry, Dragon Dance. Why did I say Lumberry? He's got leftovers. I literally wrote down leftovers. I'm an idiot. Okay. That's fine with me. Um, a high jump kick could kill from here. So I don't know if I necessarily want to roar again. I mean, he's carrying Super Fang, so it really doesn't matter who I go out to here. Uh, it just sucks because... I say it time and time again. Number one, I guarantee you this Scrafty sped crap to outspeed my Swampert. Um, but I say it time and time again, dog. Like, <laughs> I just can't keep my Swampert alive. I throw this nigga every single week, dude. <sighs> I mean, I guess Super Fang... It is what it is. I'm glad I got the, the Toxic off, though. He's not Shedskin. He's Intimidate. I could go out to Crobat here. Um, it just comes down to... It just comes down to who do I need... It's just that Samson's already... No, I need him alive for his ground typing. He needs to stay alive. He needs to stay alive. That's the biggest issue. Is he needs to stay alive. I need to clear these fucking rocks. Click knockoff. I figured... Oh, I hope I'm not throwing my Crobat, Doug. I'm just throwing, dude. I'm just throwing every single fucking week, Doug. <sighs> um, I can click Air Slash. I still think Super Fang is the best. Oh, no, I can click Roost. He knocked off my black sludge. I oh, don't know. I think the I think it'll still kill. It has a rain. It has a roll then to kill the knockoff does. I don't think I outspeed. How much time do I have? I have time. I got time, dog. If he has any sort of speed investments, then he outspeeds me. I'm gonna click Roost. I do outspeed, but I got paralyzed. All right, that would've been dope. Oh, so he do he's not max attack. I can tell that much. Can we not get paralyzed? That would be actually litty if I could not get paralyzed, because I still outspeed. That's why I said, like, I'm pretty sure I outspeed. Still, even while paralyzed. I just need to not get paralyzed. Because I think that's my best bet here. 
It's literally toxic stalling this crafty down, but it is what it is. If I come out in the end with more HP, and he doesn't have... I was about to say something stupid again. He's got leftovers. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning, dog. I'm learning. I feel like he might try and swap here and set up. He's got to have Ice Punch. Do you really not carry Ice Punch? Well, I've seen a Super Fang knockoff. I'm guessing he has a fighting move. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy. Both the Registeel and the Scrafty are whittled down. So if I can get Hoopa in correctly, Hoopa might not even be what I need. Yeet. Knock off. Lit. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Just need to get lucky. That's it. We just need to get lucky. And uh, I was going to say, that knockoff, it, it feels like it, that was definitely a roll in the first one that I had. This thing, so he can seismic toss me. Come on, dog! And get more health back on his. This is so aggravating. I kind of want to super fang him here. I don't know. I'm in. I'm in. He's just going to quick seismic toss. My thing is, I want to I wanna super fang him get his health down even more. Which is fine with me. That's fine. Cause that's gonna take three of those to kill me. That's fine with me. That's all he can do. My thing is if I get paralyzed here, I think I'm gonna roost and swap. Because that makes all this for nothing then. Huh. I could go out to Nutcracker right now and just click Drain Punch. Or I could just click Leftovers. He might Thunder Wave me. I said Leftovers. Leech Seed. Hmm. I think he's definitely clicking Thunder Wave on my chest not. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just can't stay in. I'm going to click Roost one more time, but I can't stay in here and keep doing this. That's the thing. Because if I get paralyzed, then all this goes down the drain. And there's no point in me clicking Super Fang if he's just going to get Leftovers Recovery every single turn. Because he's just playing for Paralysis at this point. That's all he's doing. And he gets Leftovers Recovery, and I don't. You know what I could do? I could just go out to Hoopa right now, since these two are already low. I could go out to Hoopa right now. Or no, I could let him kill my Crobat with Registeel. And then his Registeel will have enough health, he'll try and Thunder Wave me. I'll click Substitute. I think that's what I'll do. Means I'm sacking off my Crobat, but if I can 
lead Hoopa in and successfully get behind a substitute, I'm good. So I'm gonna click Super Fang. That's the game plan right now. And I don't think he'll swap. I don't think he'll swap against me. Dog, just kill me. Just kill me. But I need him to be in enough HP. That's the thing. I need him to be within enough HP to warrant staying in to live a hit. Maybe. I don't know. I hope I'm not throwing. I'm probably throwing. I'm probably throwing. But okay. We'll see. Either this works out and we win the battle, or I just threw the entire thing and we get 6 0. One or the other is about to go down. See, because I feel like. I feel like I should just kill. I feel like he's not going to stay in. I feel like I should just kill. No, no, no. He'll stay in and sack this thing off. Because I could just kill him with a drain punch and be at full HP and then come back in later. But who do I come back in against? Because I feel like he would let me kill this thing and then go into Scrafty. I'm going to click Substitute on the off chance he wants to save this thing. Because I feel like he's going to click either Thunder Wave or Seismic Toss right now. Either way, I can kill a Drain Punch next turn. Yes! Fuck! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm not Z-snatching yet. I knew he was going to do that. Unless this is super mega bulky. That should kill. Excellent. Excellent. Whew. Okay. So now, whatever he sends in, I click Z Snatch, Outspeed, and Bop. And we outspeed a Scarf Landris, we outspeed a Scarf Terrakion, we outspeed Mega Manectric. We're good here. So Crobat had to go down. <laughs> Unfortunately, Crobat had to go down. I don't think it matters what he goes out to now. He can go out to Garboder. Unless he's like Assault Vest, he's dying to the Psychic. And as long as I get the Z Snatch off, I outspeed everything else. And Scrafty's already low enough. He won't send in Scrafty against a substitute. Because Intimidate doesn't go through sub. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Whew! I was gonna say, I thought that, was, that was the play right there. It's either he clicks Thunder Wave, he sent out Scrafty. Does Intimidate go through sub? No. Okay, that Earthquake didn't do shit, so I know this is a bulky, bulky Scrafty. So I'm gonna take the turn. I'm doing it. With the toxic damage this turn around, we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. He has leftovers, right? I'm 
Oh, this might not have been it. This might not have been the play. Because I don't think I kill a Drain Punch from here. I might have just threw. I might have just threw. I mean, I could just keep substituting and making him Drain Punch. Hold on, let me think real quick. Let me think. I don't think he's invested fully in attack. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I think I just threw. I'm going to click sub. I'm going to click substitute. Because at least I'll stay alive. And I can burn, rack up the toxic. But does it matter if he's drain punching? I just need the toxic to get him down to about 30%. I think I threw. I think I threw because I think the Scrafty... I thought the Scrafty was going to be lower than it was. And I wasn't thinking about him getting HP back from the Substitute. That's dumb. You shouldn't get HP back from a Substitute. That's just dumb. Um, but if he's clicking Drain Punch, I can live a Drain Punch. If that's what he's choosing to go for. I can live a Drain Punch. Especially if I Drain Punch him. So I'm just going to do it. Because that will give me enough HP to live a Drain Punch from him. That should give me enough HP to live a Drain Punch from him. I don't know his last move. I swear to God, if he has Sucker Punch, I'm running from the battle, dude. I swear to God, if he has Sucker Punch, I'm running from the battle. Okay. I don't think this kills. That crit 100% mattered. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I don't want to play this game anymore. That's so dumb. That's just so ass and so stupid. And this kills him. I should have went for a substitute one more time. That's just so ass. Because if he hadn't gotten that crit, he wouldn't have gotten the HP recovery. I wouldn't have been that low. And he would have died to my drain punch. And now my Hoopa would have swept. That's fucking stupid, dude. That's so fucking stupid. It's just dumb. It takes me six turns to get a burn with Lava Plume. The one time I got lucky this season was when I hacked Mo out with Jirachi. But even then, that's why you choose Jirachi. So, I don't care, dude. This is just stupid. That's so stupid. All that planning, all that preparation down to nothing because of a critical hit. what it would be the one turn that it matters now admittedly i might have thrown a tiny bit i might have gone a little ahead of myself i thought the scrappy was lower than it was this is a defensive garbodo earthquake doesn't kill so he could stay in i don't care dude i kind of want to click defog if i'm being honest with you 
I feel like U-turn is smart. HP ice only does 50% to me. I'm just gonna defog. He stayed in. He gunk shot at a fly gun. He has leftovers. Um, well, I don't know what to do, dude. I don't know what to do. I threw my crowbat with the plan of Hoopa sweeping and a crit ruined it all. So I have to keep Flygon alive now. So if he wants to gunk shot, he can gunk shot. I need to set up rocks again, though. Do I click Toxic here? Predicting the Landorus? Because I'm pretty sure he can live in Earthquake. He lives in Earthquake. Flygon hits harder. Um. The question is... Earthquake from Landris. I'm gonna click Ice Beam because that's what you do here, right? He wanted to take an Earthquake before. I'm just gonna click Ice Beam, dude. He stays in, he stays in. Can I get a freeze, maybe? That'd be lit. I'm gonna say he stayed in to take it before, so why not? Is this where I click Earthquake and he swaps now? I don't care, dude. <laughs> Swap, PK. Go out to Landers. Read my play and go out to Landers. That's what he's deliberating right now. He just missed a gunk shot. He's been playing with fire this entire time. Now he's gonna go out to Landers. He didn't. He went for Toxic Spikes. And he's gonna go for him again and get two layers up. So I need to default before I send anyone else in. Because we're not Magic Guard, we're unaware. This thing's dead. I would have gotten two up. I guess he's trying to toxic the swampert. Uh, I don't live a hit from Tracheon or Landers here. Bandit or not. I've already revealed Ice Beam, so I feel like he would go out to Tracheon. He went out to his Manectric. So are we rocking HP Ice here, my doggy. He's got to keep Landers alive because that keeps my Flygon in check. I mean, he doesn't know that I'm, uh, whatchamacallit, Scarfed. That's HP Grass. So he doesn't have HP Ice. So 
So he has HP grass, not ice. like flamethrower or something. I don't think he would stay in though. But I can't I'm not dealing with toxic this late in the battle. I just want this shit gone. Out to Landers. That's fine with me. I have Clefable. Intimidate. I need to keep Flygon alive though for Terrakion at the end. Alright, so unless he's rocking Hidden Power Flying, which Oko's me. Rock Polish. Um, Rock Polish just ups your speed, right? So he's gonna go for a Swords Dance next. I'm gonna leave see him. HP flying. Look at that. It's super effective. So Chestnut did nothing. Um, okay, that's fine. Barbara doesn't care. Uh, I kind of want to set up rocks. Since we're bulky. Is that life orb damage? I think that's life orb damage. I'm just gonna set up rocks. Why not? He EQs. Oh, it's light. I did just say it's life orb. I don't care, dude. so like tilted from that crit dude like <sighs> you just don't understand um he's running rock polish earthquake and You'd have to run some other move to hit my flag on. Since he's life orb and he's not locked in. I mean, if I click outrage, he just goes out to Manectric. He has HP grass, he can't touch me. He would just go out to Manectric to intimidate me. I, I just don't win. I don't care, dude. Uh, well, I'm scarfed. I might be able to kill with rocks. I don't know. I don't think this is a defensive lander since he's life orb and he's just attacking me right now. He has HP flying. He's rock polished so he'll outspeed me.
So this hidden power kills me. Oh well. GG's to PK Sparks. Coach of the Philadelphia for Alligators. Uh, he played well. I'm, I know I'm 100% tilted and triggered, and I just, I made bad choices. I made bad choices with my Crobat, and that in turn made me play incorrectly with Hoopa and everyone else, and I just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. How I, I could have played better. I could have brought it back, but it is what it is. Um... Let me know what you guys think. I could have done differently in the comment section below. Um, make sure you guys go and check out PK's channel and his side of the battle. It'll be linked in the description below. Go and show him that Nappy Nation love and support that you guys have been showing everyone else over the past couple weeks. Um, that's honestly my favorite part about all this is the support and the positivity from you guys in the comment section. Not only on our own channel, but on everyone else's as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And we'll be back next week. I'm pretty sure this knocks us out of playoffs. It's week five and we lost. I'm pretty sure it's Nox is out of playoffs. But oh well. As long as we can win our next two weeks, we'll go positive. So I'll catch you guys next week as we take on Shady Penguin, coach of the New York Mankeys. And hopefully we don't get fucked up then. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. Until then, I'm out this bitch. Bye!